Okay, so I thought that I would show you the new electric eel wheel yarn counter. I've only had it out enough to read the manual and um, I thought it would be fun to like set it up and test it out. So okay. let's try it. So I'm actually downstairs because I have a setup for winding yarn down here. And I thought, okay, I'll just go ahead and make my little video down here. So this is uh, how the electric eel wheel yarn counter comes. It's packed in bubble wrap. Uh, we have basically two pieces. So this is um, our clamp. And then this is the actual yarn counter. And look, it's so cute. It's very small. It uh, can definitely fit like in the palm of a hand. Uh, very small. And um, it won't power on yet because we need to put in um, oh, that was nice. Oh, magnets. Sweet. <laughs> we need to put in our batteries. And I went ahead and brought down um, two of the AA batteries so that I can power it up. So here's two AA batteries, just like this. I really love this feature here where it's got the magnets. And it's very easy to um, pull it apart. And yet you feel that was a very solid ah, connection. Nice. All right. Oh, look, and it's on. Okay. The other two things that come in your box are the wraps per inch guide tool. Very handy little credit card sized thing there. And then our um, basic user manual. So let me set this down and uh, we'll take a look. Let's see. So uh, alrighty, so we have yarn guides and the yarn disc. So these would be your guides. This is your disc. Uh, of course, the screen, which I think you can read. And then power reset. There's a menu and there's an up and down button. And then, of course, uh, we have our clamp. And there is a clamp hole right there. So that's good to know. So let's just... Uh, Go ahead, I'm just gonna clamp this on, I think, right here. And even if I don't, um, at least gonna get the clamp ready. At least get the clamp ready. And then we'll take a look at the rest of the user guide. Very excited about this, by the way. When I saw that this was coming, I like immediately backed it because I thought, ooh, smart. And I've never met uh, Maurice. I would love to meet him because I am so impressed with uh, all of the different things he's been making. Um, all right, so let's see what it says. Uh, open by pulling the top and bottom halves apart, which we did. Um, install the AA batteries, and it says you can use rechargeable, uh, but don't use any AA that has a voltage higher than 1.6 volts per cell. So that's good. Oh, and there's a screen flip switch. That's important to know. Uh, here's how to thread the yarn. We'll get to that in a minute. The top line tells you which menu you're currently viewing. Oh, there's a menu. Let's go play with the menu. Um, yeah. All right. This is going to be fun. Let's go play with the menu. I like playing with toys. Don't you like to play with toys? I like to play with toys. So let's see. All right. Here we are with the yarn counter. So it says the top line on the display tells you which menu you are currently viewing. And I can press this to cycle to the ooh, next menu. Uh, I can change the wraps per inch. Nice. Nice. And that, of course, is related to this. And the reason you might want to do that is because it will uh, change the overall counting method. And you might, uh, if you have a really bulky yarn then and you're using the wraps per inch at 80, then... Um, you may find that you don't have quite accurate measurements. So I love that he put this in. This is a really smart thing. Let's see. Uh, so we'll just leave it on 80 for the moment. Uh, your units, you can do yards or meters. Nice. Um, let's see. Target length. Oh, that's nice. So if I want to, I can actually set this so that I can wind to a certain amount of yarn. Oh, this is going to be awesome for kits. Yeah, awesome. This will make making all of your kits a lot faster and easier. Uh, let's see. 
The specified length will also turn off any device connected through the auxiliary port. If you set this to zero, it will never beep. Ooh, interesting. Uh, key beep. Set this to yes if you want a small beep when any button is pressed. Cool. And then the battery voltage. We're good. Uh, I can learn, I can use this to figure out when I need to replace my batteries. Cool. All right. Um, if I remove the batteries, it will reset the fact, reset this to the factory default setting. So that's important too. Very, very cool. Uh, let's see. So you can use the holes to attach it, which I've done on either the front or the back. So that's really nice. And um, yeah, I can change the, I think that means I can change the direction. It says screen flip switch. So I think that means I can change the direction as well. And then there's more resources. This is so nice. I'm so excited to try this. So excited to try this. Let's see. All right. Well, um, I am going to grab some yarn and we'll talk just a minute and then. And then okay. Out. So this is um, a little dab of leftover hand spun yarn that I actually used to make a little pink shawl for Ina. And I want to see how much yardage I have left on it. So I'm going to pull out my label because I'll reuse that label. And um, my, I'm clearly a little bit thick and thin because this is it is hand spun and, and I did what I could with it, but um, you know, I was, I was spinning this kind of fast, so I wasn't as worried about consistency as I was about getting it done, which is honestly how I spin a lot of my yarn. Um, so I'm gonna take this and use my wraps per inch tool and just kind of see what I can get. Um, just out of curiosity, how many wraps per inch. Uh, and I'm trying to not put um, tons of tension on my yarn because if I do that then my wraps per inch will be incorrect um, but I also want to make sure that I've lined them up uh, kind of nicely and that's pretty good um, I might be one wrap over but we're gonna count and see what I get so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I would probably use the twelve wraps per inch because that's going to be the closest to this. Um, so that's good to know. And um, let's see. So now we need to thread our yarn and try this out, which is exciting. All right. So let's uh, let's try it out. Let's try it out. Okay, so let's check this out. So first of all, I'm going to go to my menu and I'm going to drop my wraps per inch down to 12. So hopefully you can see it says 12 there. And then put it back on my regular menu. And then it says to thread the yarn on the electric eel wheel yarn counter. Pull the yarn through one of the yarn guides and around the disc. So. Let's see, through one of the yarn guides and around the disc. Oh, nice. And around the disc. Okay. Let's see. Then go through the yarn guide on the, let's see, opposite side. Let's see if I can get it down in there. There we go. All right. Uh oh, I dropped my clamp off. I forgot that I loosened it up. Hang on a minute. Ooh, look, it's already counting. Well, that was fun. Hang on. It's nice to know that I can go left or right with it as well. So, um, well, I think I can. What do I know? <laughs> The direction, oh, it says the direction you thread and pull the yarn through this counter does not matter. So we're good. We're good. I can take it either way. All right. So the next part is, I love that it's already counting. I'm going to thread this up on my ball winder over here. Okay. And now I'm going to take this off my stand and hold it up so that we get a better view. It would help if I had this a little further away. Let me see. 
just a minute. Let me pause just a second. All right, there. So I, I moved my counter a little further away so that my arm, let's see if I can do this. Nope, maybe not. So that my arm doesn't whack into my yarn. So now I'm just trying to re-thread this one-handed while my galloping elephants upstairs play soccer in the house, even though I've asked them not to. Imagine that. All right. So, not bad. I'm going to take this, throw it down here, and uh, let's see how much yarn. Oh, I've got 1.7 yards so far. All right. Let's see. So I've got too much tension. That's a me problem, not a yarn counter problem. And there, get it back over there. So I clearly need to set this up a little bit differently. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to set this up differently. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can get it to go. Yeah. And I have, I have my tension on here. Oh, awesome. Look at this. I've got like 11 yards. Let's see what it says. And I didn't put any tension on this um, because, you know, I don't really want tension on it. 12 yards. All right, nice. Very nice. And just like that, that's it. 13.6 yards. Cool. Now I want to do it okay, again. Okay, so Let's final the thoughts same on the uh, yarn counter are, I really like it. It's lightweight. I like that it snaps together with the magnets in the back, so it's easy to pull apart to put the uh, batteries in it. Um, it seems to be fairly accurate, at least in terms of um, trial to trial. And um, I'll actually go take this in a minute, and um, I will measure it out because it's such a small piece so I can check it and and see how accurate it is but everything that I've read says that the yarn winder is actually pretty darn accurate it has a small error rate but that's just to be expected um, and I really like that the wraps per inch tool was included and that it's got the little setup guide and I like that everything will fit back in this tiny little box so it's really easy to pack back up um, or to just keep it attached um, to my setup here so that I can pull from um, my yarn winder to the yarn counter to or my swift to my yarn counter to my ball winder. So yeah, um, I like it, but I'm going to go see if it was truly okay, accurate. So I went ahead and measured my yarn and on a like, quick count, uh, I got about 13 yards. But again, that was me like just not... Mm, probably not doing it quite properly. <laughs> I was just sort of pulling it and uh, pulling it between my hands and measuring against my mat. So um, anyway, 13, 13.5, it's pretty accurate to me. I'm sure the little bit more tension um, on the yarn winder is probably where that extra half yard came from. But um, I usually round down to the nearest whole yard anyway. So yeah, I would say it's it's uh, reasonably accurate, and, and I'm kind of excited because I have a lot of hand spun, and now I can more accurately measure it um, and skein it and ball it and, and whatever. So anyway, that's exciting. Anyway, um, like I always like to say at the end of my videos, take care of yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, and craftually. Make sure that you have liked and subscribed to our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, our TikTok channel, and our Instagram channel. I think I hit them all. Um, and don't forget, if you have something that you would like me to do, uh, demonstrate, show you, whatever, um, just send me a message so that I know and um, I'll put together a video just for you and anybody else who might be wondering. So anyway, until next time, please take care of yourself, and I'll see you later. Bye.